Before we jump into the news of the day, we want to give a special shout out to multicultural news reporter Katira Winfrey. Her birthday is on Sunday. We want to say happiest of happiest birthdays to her. She does so much great work for us here at Wish TV, and she's just a shining light in the newsroom. We love her so much and hope that she has a wonderful weekend birthday celebration. All right, let's get a look at some of those top news headlines today. The woman accused of using her car to kill her boyfriend in a bar parking lot last June has been convicted of voluntary manslaughter. Marion County prosecutors say Morris tracked her boyfriend, Andre Smith, using an AirTag device to a bar on East 82nd Street and Dean Road. They say when she entered the bar, she found him with another woman. That's when an altercation occurred and the three left the bar. Morris got into her vehicle and ran Smith over multiple times, killing him. She'll be sentenced September 21st. The person in charge of Maui's emergency management agency has stepped down from his position. Herman Andaya's resignation comes one day after he defended his decision not to blare the island siren system after a wildfire ravaged the area. During a press conference Wednesday, he said had the alarms been sounded, many residents would have responded by going inland and into danger. The fires started earlier this month and have already claimed 111 lives, mostly in Lahaina. Maui County's mayor says a replacement for Andaya will be announced soon. The maker of Beanie Babies is set to release a new limited edition bear to help wildfire survivors in Hawaii. Its name is Aloha, and it's gold with a rainbow ribbon and the words Maui Strong on its chest. All the profits from its sales are set to go to the American Red Cross. Beanie Babies come with birthdays and poems. Aloha's birthday is August 8th, the day wildfires took off in Maui. Its poem says, quote, helping each other all day long, we forever will stay Maui Strong. Starbucks has been ordered to pay an additional $2.7 million to a former employee. Shannon Phillips worked as a regional director over the Philadelphia area. She sued the company for wrongful termination, claiming she was fired for being white. It happened after two black men were arrested for sitting at a table without ordering anything in 2018. Phillips said the company fired her in an effort to convince the community it had properly responded to the incident. In June, a jury ruled that she was owed $25 million dollars in an order Wednesday, a judge said Starbucks had to make an additional payment for damages. LL Cool J's Bringing the Force Tour is no longer listing Sunday's performance at Gamebridge Fieldhouse. Ticketmaster posted on their website this morning saying the event has been canceled, but a reason was not provided. The tour's website still has tonight's and tomorrow's performance in St. Louis and Toronto scheduled. Ticketmaster says ticket holders can expect refunds with 30, within 30 days. Uh, 